<laughs> okay, we'll just keep rolling. Okay. John was gonna tell a joke here, but I guess he'll skip it and explain no, what he no, did. Uh, maybe I'll think of it. Da -da. And what I do here is I'm the host. My name is Steve Wagamley, and I'm just one of the people that performs here. Uh, my name is Don Burton. My nickname is the Pro Bono Hobo. So my name is Pat Howard, and there are a lot of people who don't even know what my name is because everybody knows me as Banjo Mama. <laughs> my name is Gary Erickson. I'm Nancy Blue. Delia Anderson. Barbara Jackson. Oh, this has been going on for, for years, over 20 years. Weren't we so thrilling and true? I started this coffee house in 1986. I've just been coming this last year. Uh, two years now. A uh, good couple of years now. It must be about eight years. I love to get the big C for the ending. Uh, there used to be lots and lots of these, right? And and people, uh, uh, you know, this is sort of like the last one left in town, really. You know? There's lots of other open stages in town, but they're totally different than so many other ways. How can I tell you? We have the idea that an audience should be like a classical music audience, where you know people make an effort to not cough and make an effort to not shift around, and that's respecting the space, right? And one of the really nice things about what Rick has done here with music on Main is it's not a it's not an electrical house; it's a um, what do we call it? Unplugged house. So, you know, it's a real natural, quiet environment. And the, the audiences that come are, they're here to listen to music. So they tend to be respectful of that. The mood is, is, is very warm. It's very, very accepting. It's a very encouraging audience. And I really like it that people listen. Everyone's warm and, uh, you know, it's, I would encourage anyone to come down. Singing is kind of scary, but um, this is a very uh, supportive crowd, and basically you can try and do anything. Where I'm going, the future's one big mirror of the past. I've been losing so long, it looks just like... Without microphones, a great deal of what happens in a performance is a negotiation between the audience and the performance. And it was on a Sunday morning about a hundred years ago the message came without warning though everyone had told him so and the last thing the General Custer said when he looked up and saw those Sioux was I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going nowhere in a hurry to. Okay, your part. Audience can sing too. Audience can sing too. What are you friends? The chorus is, you gotta jump, hop, wiggle and flop. 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 With variations from the choir. Yeah. Here we go. One, a two. 
There's a lot more to it, though. It's like, you know, we're living in a market society, right? The mythos of a market society is going to tend towards making people miserable. I just like the name Misery on Main Street. I thought, that's a good place to sing the blues. You know, we're allowed to sing the blues when you get to this age. Believe me, it's all you can sing. I would say one of the things it means to me is, is that there's a, there's a, a fair um, peer level going on here. People are my age. Oh gosh, it's the social aspect. It's like uh, I'm a bachelor and I have a, a party to go to every Thursday night. You know, it's just great. I also come because I really enjoy nurturing other performers, especially young people. I just get a kick out of watching them blossom. So that's the main attraction for me, actually. Now all you parents come and listen to me. Well, if you want to learn a lesson from the fish in the sea. Uh, it's, it's not scary because they're all, they're all friendly people and uh, they're all doing the same thing. Uh, they're here uh, supporting each other and playing for each other, so it's, it's really quite a, a great venue. I, I've made a number of connections with people here, and um, you know, it's, it's uh, hello there. Hi, folks. If you want to learn a lesson from the fish in the sea, if you promise that you'll marry her if she spends the night... Good night out where I can wail the blues and get some, let some steam off and... A community too. It's kind of fun to hang out with other old hippies. A wiggle and flop, you gotta jump. Hop. A wiggle and flop, you gotta jump. Hop. A wiggle and flop. The proficiency or the, the, the abilities of a person, the talents of a person, uh, their abilities with instruments and vocal, you know, stuff, isn't half as important as feeling that they're being listened to. It's all about nurturing the people who come through this door. It, it means a lot to me in the sense that the regulars that keep coming back and keep coming back and the sense of community that continues to grow and develop. And so I wanted to people to have an opportunity to share their music or share their poetry or their songs. So anything that people do that's creative that they want to share with others and I wanted to give people a, a space to do that and a space to come together and listen and uh, also feel like it it inspires people in other ways when they come together through the performing arts they also come together around ideas and it just continues to build community Okay. <laughs> okay. This is what anthropologists get rid of yet. <laughs>